Let's, let's get this started with a, a little prayer, and then we're going to sing. Good idea? Right, I think an excellent idea. So let's have a word of prayer. Lord God, you are present here. You're with us all the time, and we are incredibly grateful. Now, be with us during this little worship service. Uh, unite us with your spirit. Fill us with, with thanks, and enable us to feel your presence with us this afternoon. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. Okay, what do you want to sing? I'm ready. I'm ready to roll. So, what are some of the things you, what are some hymns that you'd like to, or songs you'd like to sing? Blessed assurance. Blessed assurance. <laughs> you can't, can't go wrong with good material. Uh, and you want? 41? 41. 41. 41. Anybody need help? Did you get it? Got it? We all got it? I don't. But we'll get there. I'll find it eventually. Okay. <laughs>
Y'all know what we're going to be celebrating later this week? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, that's right. And are y'all having anything special going on here for, for Thanksgiving? You're going to have, you certainly, you're going to have turkey, right? On Thanksgiving. And you're going to have dressing. But you know, when we think about Thanksgiving, it's, it's not just uh, giving thanks. And, and we've got reason for, for being thankful. I mean, we're all above the surface of the earth now, and that's, that's a good reason to give thanks. And, and we, uh, we have friends, and we have family that are around, and that's a good reason to give thanks. But we don't want to forget as we give our thanks and share a turkey and such, we don't want to forget the one to whom we offer the thanks. Because God is really the focus of not just that day, but also focus in our lives. And so with that in mind, let's, let's go to God. We're going to go to God in prayer. And uh, let's, let's think about some of the things for which. So I'm going to ask you to pray, brother, if you would. And, and as we pray, let's think about some of the things for which we can give thanks. So. Your Father, thank you for everything. Above and below, for beyond us, and needlessly, we're looking for you and you alone. And everything we do is all for you, and everything we say is all for you. And everything we do, we should say and rely upon, it's all for you. And if we 
Without anybody individualized, it would be uncertainty where we would go. But we had certainty in such that we had, and we can call your praise to your name. And above all things, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And let's together say the prayer that our Lord taught us praying. Okay. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now, one of the things that you know we do is uh, look at some scripture and it's based on what the service we had a little bit earlier in Weirton. And I don't know if I told you last time, we were looking at some of the parables found in the Gospel of Matthew. And today we looked at one that's from Matthew 25. In fact, there are three parables in Matthew 25. Uh, this is the first one. And it may be one that you've heard before, uh, but listen to what Jesus Christ is telling his disciples. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten young bridesmaids who took their lamps and went out to meet the groom. Now, five of them were wise and the other five were foolish. The foolish ones took their lamps but didn't bring oil for them. But the wise took wise ones took their lamps and also brought containers of oil. When the bridegroom was late in coming, they all became drowsy and went to sleep. But at midnight there was a cry, Look the groom, come out to meet him. Then all those bridesmaids got up and prepared their lamps. But the foolish bridesmaid, bridesmaid said to the wise one once, Give us some of your oil because our lamps have gone out. But the wise bridesmen, bridesmaids replied, No, because if we share with you, there won't be enough for our lamps and yours. We have a better idea. You go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were going to buy oil, the groom came. Those who were ready went with him into the wedding. Then the door was shut. Later the other bridesmaids came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he replied, I tell you the truth, I don't know you. Therefore keep alert because you don't know the day or the hour. Now, that's what Jesus said to his, uh, to his disciples. And you know, it's, it's kind of interesting that we looked at it at church and we're looking at it in here on the day before Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is a day where we all kind of get together as families and, and friends gather around the tables here and, and share a meal. And it's a day, like I said a little, little while ago, where we focus on reasons we should be or we can be thankful. Now, a lot of times, the reasons we're thankful have to do with uh, stuff this person does. You know, like we're feeling pretty good today. Or we're eating a good meal. Uh, or the place is nice and warm and comfortable. And those are good reasons to be thankful. But you know, there are other reasons that we have, I know I have, to be thankful. And for instance, with me, I'm thankful for my daughter, who is right now driving from Weirton, West Virginia, here, is on the road. I'm thankful for her. I'm thankful for my wife who is, is, at, is at home going crazy cleaning stuff because my daughter is coming from Weirton, West Virginia. My daughter's in college, but she's coming from Weirton. So she's getting things all ready. And, and I'm really thankful for her. Uh, I'm thankful for the people in my church. You know, although I don't want to tell them too much 
because they get big heads. You know what I mean? Uh, but I'm thankful that I'm here with such a with with such a good church. And I'm also thankful for y'all. You know, that y'all give us the opportunity to come over and and lead you in worship. And and that really makes me feel good that this is something we can share together. Now, all of those are good reasons for thanks, right? You know, that I am thankful for the other people around me. But how does my wife know that I'm thankful for her? How does she know that I'm thankful for? In fact, what is the... Oh, what's that? I better tell her. You're 100% right. If I'm a smart man, I will. Now, if I never tell her, ever tell her, what's going to happen? What's that? She's going to quit doing stuff for me. I tell you what, she, she's, she's going to quit doing some things for me. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think my wife would handle it well if I never tell her that. I don't think she would say a word if I never thanked her for weeks and weeks and weeks. She may bounce something off my head if I don't do it. But if I don't tell her that I'm thankful for her, she will never know, right? She'll, she'll never know. If I don't tell my church, let my church know that I'm thankful for them, they're never going to know, right? If I never tell you how thankful I am to be here, you'll never know, right? Therefore, it's important for me to say that. It's important to, for me to express my thanks to the people for whom I'm thankful. And that's where this story really comes in. Because we got two sets of girls, right? We got five girls that Jesus... Remember what Jesus called them? We got five that Jesus called foolish. And we got five that Jesus called... Yeah, wise, right? We got five fool, foolish ones. And, and think about what the foolish ones didn't do. They brought their lamps. They were going to a wedding party, brought their lamps, but didn't bring enough oil. Now, it would have worked out fine if the guy had gotten, the groom had got there on time, but he's a little bit late. And so they ran out of oil. You see, they assumed that they were going to have all the oil that they needed, right? They assumed they were going to have all the oil, the groom was going to come, they'd light their lamps, and everybody would go into the party. But the groom was a little bit late. And what happened to those five girls that assumed that everything would be fine? What happened? You remember what happened to him in the story? They got ran short. They ran short of oil. And what happens to an oil lamp when you run short of oil? It burns out. And those five girls, their lamps were dim. And they had to go find other oil, right? And by the time they got other oil, the door was closed. And they missed the wedding. They, Jesus called those people fools because they assumed they had enough for the party. But the wise ones, what did the wise ones do? Right. Yeah, what did the wise bridesmaids do? You remember? They brought a little bit extra. They brought a little bit extra because they weren't certain that the groom was going to come on time. And so they had a little bit extra so that when he was running late, they had enough oil to keep their lights burning. And I think I, that tells us a lot about how we share thanks with one another. Like you, you told me, if I don't tell my wife that I'm thankful for, she is never going to know, right? If I assume she already knows, I might be wrong. And therefore, it's really important for me to be like one of those wise bridesmaids to make, take the time and make the effort to tell her maybe every day how thankful I am for. And you know, that applies to all of y'all as well. Because the friends, the staff, the people who are here that are taking care of you, you know, they may like to hear what? that you are thankful for them. They may like to hear thank you. And they, you can't assume that they already know. 
it might be a good idea on this th Thanksgiving to just take the time and to make the effort like I'm going to try to do with my wife and my daughter and my church and with y'all and just say thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's have a word of prayer and then we're going to sing uh, one more song. We'll sing one more song. So let's have a word of prayer. Lord God, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to hear your word. Now, we got Thanksgiving coming up. Help us not to be like those foolish young girls and assume that people already know that we are grateful for what they do for us. Help us. Help us to be like those smart girls. And help us take the time and make the effort to share with those around us, to the staff and to our families and to our friends, man, the other people that sit around the table with us. Give us, move us, encourage us to just say thank you for what they do for us and how much they mean to us. Help us to do that in the name of Christ. Amen. Okay, does anybody have a song that you want to sing? 113. 113. Okay, 113. I need thee every hour. Well, after you, when you finish playing this, and we're going to sing, let's sing uh, three of the verses, first three verses. Would you put something fancy at the end? Give it, if you feel moved, just add a little fancy to the end. A little thing, a little thing that's pretty. Well, I will after you go. <laughs> But, but listen, thank you for reminding me. Okay. Yep, let's go.
Let's close with a, a little bit of blessing. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And the people of God said, Amen. 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 Very good.